Welcome back to the LDS player for another Final Fantasy Saturday special. Yes, we all know the original Final Fantasy is a bit outdated, but it's still a great game. So I decided, why not make this video? For your information, this is my overall opinion, so do not leave a dislike or be offended if I rate your favorite job poorly. Last of all, before we start this video, I would also like to note in this video and other similar videos, I will be giving pros and cons while still ranking for more to best. Anyway, let's jump right in. The iconic Black Mage character made its debut in the original Final Fantasy, and has made at least a minor appearance in every Final Fantasy, including some of my favorites, Radia, Palum, and Vivi. The Black Mage is an arsenal of powerful spells to exterminate large groups of annoying enemies, my least favorite being the pesky Sahagans that go a million times before you can touch one of them. This is made very strong due to their extreme intelligence and MP stats. Their most notable spells are the Temper and Haste spells, that are insanely powerful against tough bosses, notably Omega and Shinru in the later releases. I will cover these two spells more in depth in the 10 useful tips video. Now for the reasons they are not so amazing. They have very poor health, stamina, strength, and armor, so they will die very often, especially early in the game. They also have very poor use in random encounters if they run out of MP, and they basically become obsolete upon gaining items such as gauntlets or the judgment staff. For more information on that topic, be sure to check back to this channel as I will be posting a video titled 10 useful tips that you may have overlooked. Overall, black mages only hold a use early in the game as they boast double the intelligence of the red mage and they are outclassed by all other characters in boss fights late game and in normal encounters at number five we have the thief this class is not bad nor the best though it's definitely worth putting in your party in fact you can easily beat the game in all super bosses with a thief as your main attacker the thief has unbeatable agility and luck which raise your chance to evade attacks Run from battles, which is especially great for low-level games, and guarantee a higher rate of critical hits. Thieves are distinctly comparable to the Red Mage, in that it does not excel completely in strength, but instead making up for it in speed, agility, and once upgrading into a ninja, level 4 black magic, including temper and haste. Not only do you gain access to two of the most powerful spells in the game, they also can equip the most powerful equipment after upgrading. Now for the bad news. The thief has no access to steal like all the later incarnations of the job class, nor does it generally have the strength in its physical attacks that a monk or a knight has. They also have a very low HP stat, at least compared to a knight and a white mage, and horrible armor until upgraded into a ninja. Last of all, their meager black magic ar arsenal trembles in the glory of the red mage, this amazing variety of white and black magic. Overall, this class should only be used if replaying the game, as you know the basics of the weakness, for low level play to easily flee from battles, or as a more support like class in bosses over tankier attacker to complement with the red mage. Next up at number 4 is a fabled warrior class. As most classes in this game have their uses, it is very tough to place this class out of 4, so please postpone the flurry of hatred. Moving to the pros, the warrior is definitely your tankiest character, boasting exceptional health, stamina, strength, and amazing equipment. They are probably the best choice for an attacking job for new players, as they have very high survivability. With the right armor and shield in hand, you basically become a previous to any physical attack. Once upgraded, they gain some white magic, which is particularly useful for out-of-battle healing. To balance their tankiness and damage, they do not gain close to as useful as an upgrade compared to, their, to other classes. They only gain a few white magic spells, whereas the ninja gains temper, haste, and loads of new equipment, and the master gains a insane damage bonus. They also generally do less damage than the monk, and they have less luck than the thief, so they will not land as many critical hits. They also are extremely reliant on gil early in the game, so you have to grind quite a bit. Last of all, they do not have the healing and buffing capability of the white or red mage with their magic, nor do they have temper or haste. Overall, the knight is the easiest fighter class to use due to its amazing equipment, but it does not have the damage of the monk, the magic of a red mage, or a ninja, or the agility and luck of a thief. Taking the number 3 spot on this list is the ever amazing White Mage. The White Mage, though not ranked at a 1 or 2, is a must have in any party. This unit can heal the entire party with a single spell, unlike the Knight or Red Mage, buff with amazing spells like Null All and could do damage with the Die series spells and the Holy Spell. The White Mage is also essential to winning in super boss fights such as Omega, Shinrayu, and Cronadia. Surprisingly, the White Mage also boasts a very high HP stat, second only to the Warrior, this only second to the Black Mage in MP. 
Although, as they are a healer, they cannot do damage easily, especially due to the fact that their die spell only works on undead enemies. This makes the red mage a much better contender for doing damage, as the white mage's only form of damage is gained more than halfway through the game. They can either use items such as a gauntlets to utilize black magic, or use a holy spell, though the holy spell is gained quite a bit later and is quite a bit weaker than flare. Worst of all, their high HP set is rendered much worse after stamina and weak gear is put into consideration, so don't conclude with expectation for them. Overall, the white mage is an essential addition to your team in boss fights, but a chore to use in random encounters compared to a red mage or a black mage. And ultimately, we have the Red Mage. This class is amazing, judging that it is a jack-of-all-trades job. The Red Mage can hit rather heavily with a sword, dispatch groups of enemies with black magic, heal wounds with white magic, and cast buffing spells like Temper, Haste, Null All, and Proterra to increase your team's survivability. Usually, they do around two-thirds of damage with their swords compared to a warrior, and they gain access to two-thirds of all damage and healing spells. Although, with all the advantages, there had to be some downsides also. The Red Mage cannot cast the Heal series spells, making it imperative to also have a White Mage in your party. They also have much less strength and HP than a warrior, and less intelligence and spirit than the Black and White Mages. They also do not have as strong of armor or weapons as a warrior, so... Overall, they still retain a steady balance of all the aspects of Final Fantasy 1, making a great addition to any team composition. And before I show my favorite character, which you probably guessed, be sure to like and subscribe to support my channel, and click the notification bell to be notified when I post all new Final Fantasy videos. Anyway, you guessed it. Pushing slightly above the other characters, we have the Monk class. The Monk class has unbeatable strength, outclassing the warrior in overall physical damage, especially after gaining the upgrade into a master which heavily buffs the monk's damage formula. Although, if this is your first time playing the game, make sure to unequip any weapon once they have reached around level 8 to 12, as their strength with fist is much stronger than with weapons by a far point. Although their heavily superior physical damage comes at a cost, they also have much less HP and defensive equipment than the Warrior Red Mage and even the Thief. This makes them more risky to use, but it is well worth it. Overall, the Monk is the team's strongest attacker, shredding bosses in seconds with a flurry of punches. Well everybody, thank you for watching this video. This is my first gaming video, so please support my channel if you like this video. My goal is to reach 50 or more likes. If you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe and ring the notification bell. And last of all, be sure to leave your own personal ranking of the characters down in the comment section below. Last of all, I would like to thank my brother for helping me with a few clips in this video. And make sure to check out the Max Out Guide in the description. It shows all sorts of Final Fantasy and other RPG stats, and it gives you some awesome character guides in text. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. I'm out.